All right, hi guys, we are back, and today joining us is Ellery. She's been on here like a couple times, so yeah. But um, we went to Chicago suburbs because she like basically like she passed out um at college like a week before, uh, she had to come home for Christmas break, and then like her college is like an eight hour drive away, and her boyfriend didn't want her driving, and my mom didn't want her driving like home by herself, just like yeah, cause. In case it happened again. <laughs> yeah, so um, her boyfriend went with her, and he lives in um, Seattle, So, and we live in uh, central Illinois, and the only flight out of to Seattle was from Chicago, and it was at, like, 5. About 5 p.m., yeah. Yeah, so then I was like, well, why don't we just go thrifting in the Chicago suburbs? And so we woke up, or I woke up at, like, we were supposed to leave the house at, um, like, 8, and we ended up leaving at, like, 8 30 so <laughs> i was sleeping yeah even though I, you said you'd be up anyways um but it was a win for me because we went to the chicago suburbs and it was really really good i crossed off like a whole bunch of bolos and got some like of like you know just classic of my favorite brands to sell and yeah the prices were a little bit higher they definitely knew some of their brands better than they do here um yeah but huge thank you um go follow her on instagram i have her instagram link down below to amanda at a joyful cart because she lives in the chicago suburbs and i talked to her on instagram a lot and there was like a whole there's like a whole bunch of uh thrift stores um in chicago like the suburbs and i just was like overwhelmed because i'm i don't want to like waste my time at any bad ones or anything like that so i just asked her like which ones that um she had good experiences that that weren't necessarily um, things that she was planning to go to because I didn't really, or any of her honey holes because I didn't want to take those from her if she was planning on sourcing there soon. So she told me and I went to like, uh, so some of the things that she suggested and she suggested really well. And I went to a new store, a new Goodwill that she hadn't been to before. And I had, uh, that we're going to do that one third because that was a, we're going to do that in order. And that was like the third one I went to and I found one brand that has been on my bolo list forever. And so she definitely needs to go to that one. So go follow Amanda on Instagram. Like her finds are absolutely insane. And yeah, but the good news is that I get to go back because she has to go pick up her boyfriend <laughs> for the Chicago airport. So we're leaving again. Definitely won't have as much time as they did last time, but we definitely will hit up a few good bills, right? I'm not waking up anywhere past 9 a.m. You can wake up at, like, 8. <laughs> so the first good bill we want to, um, I don't know, I'll write the location on the screen, and, I don't know, this is, like, in no particular order. I did not get any shoes at any store this entire trip. I found, like, a few, but they just, like, Vince shoes, and, like, I found a Ferragamo and AGO, but the condition of them was just not good. But, <laughs> um... First thing, I knew what these were, and these were like a space die cropped legging, and this is Beyond Yoga, which I definitely don't pick up um, all the time, but I do pick up their Maternity, which is Beyond the Bump. I found these a couple of times, and they sell really well for me, so this is size medium. I'm probably expecting like 35 to 40, and right next to those, and these were $5.99, <clears throat> and right next to those were these uh, like teal ones, and the same exact style. So probably like 35 to 40 again, and somebody might buy them in a bundle, I'm not really sure, but I'm listing them individually just because like, uh, yeah, but size medium, and they're really nice. Okay, did I show what you found? Because you found like a good amount. So. Oh yeah, so um, me and my boyfriend immediately went to the customer <coughs> section because they were like, where else would I go? I'm a huge Lulu fan myself. Um, and so Keegan was uh, going and looking through like, you know, some of like the um, jeans, and, jeans yeah. and like all that kind of stuff that he really likes to um, sell. And so we were looking through the active wear and I mean like we were just pulling off racks of racks like Lulu, Athleta, um, just like a whole bunch of things. Like it was so funny because like I, ha I was carrying like a big thing and my boyfriend went over to the thing and he's like, Look, I found a new pair of like Lou leggings. He's so mm. proud of himself. So unfortunately, so they were a lot of them were marked up between ten to twenty dollars, and they priced. I mean, like regardless of condition, mm -hmm. like there is some like leggings. I'll pop up a picture somewhere um, for twenty dollars. They were like this like floral pat. Like they were not my favorite. I've sold the pattern before, but they were not my favorite. And like they were like super thinned and like the butt area, and they had them priced at twenty bucks. I was kind of like. Yeah. I'm surprised, like, they didn't recycle these because it was, like, 
It was pretty bad. I was like, okay. But some of the other stuff was really good and really yeah. good condition. So worth $20 okay. for Lulu. Mm -hmm. So, um, one of the things they found is this, um, Lululemon long sleeve, um, sure. I don't know the exact style. Keegan would probably know. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't, oh, here's the symbol. It was inside up too. And this um, it has to be slightly a newer style because this, the symbol's like that. Shiny. Like. It's like the, uh. Glossy. Yeah, the glossy, like not like the silver. I know, like that um a lot of the newer styles have that and then um i found this uh a pair of athleta is that is it athleta or athleta no it's athleta athleta, athleta is, um athleta is athlete in spanish by the way yeah because i'm like um leggings navy you have to, okay you're not doing a very good job okay. all right so this was 15 dollars, but it was inside out but it was half off because she could tell like it was lulu because of feeling and like this store was good they didn't really miss much honestly and they even got this when it was inside out, but it was half off because maybe not somebody didn't see it, but yeah. And then these athleta are newer style, and I really only pick up their leggings if they have this now, but it's like the, I mean, it's rubbed off a little bit, but it has like the styling under, and they're size medium, but they have the stash pockets, and they're like a navy, probably like a 7 8 length, so probably like 35 to $40 for these. Um, here's like their logo. It's still coming off a little bit, but yeah. Okay, the next thing um, were these upside... I don't really know. She didn't, okay, she didn't find these for <laughs> I don't know what those are. She's like, I didn't know this brand, but I looked it up, and the comps actually seemed pretty good. They're called... The up, it's called the Upside. These are size 4, and they're like a tie-waist, like, cropped... They feel nice. Legging. So, I, they, yeah, they did feel nice, and so I looked them up, and apparently they're sold at, like, Anthropology sometimes. And, oh, my sales are tracking now. And I believe this was the half-off color, um... I'm not entirely sure. I know the yellow was the oncoming color, but I believe this is half off. So these were $7, which, wait, oh no, no, that was half off, I think. But I thought they were Tom Brown because of like the drawstring that's like a Tom Brown color. So I got excited, but I don't think he's making leggings, but comms for some of these were like $75, but I'll probably list these at like 45 to 50 because they're like cropped. Yeah. Okay. And then another thing, um, me and my boyfriend found were these, um, Lululemon cropped, uh, Wonder Unders. Yeah, and these are like these are pretty new. I'm not gonna lie. The only um, like they are crisp, like no cracking in the symbol. I believe these are size. Uh, oh yeah, like, like the full out crisp. tag. That is crisp. Like size six. I would definitely be keeping these if they weren't cropped. I just don't prefer cropped leggings. I like like what is it the seven eight length. Twenty five inch. Yeah, the yeah. twenty five inch length. Um, but these are in very good condition, so like these are definitely style. worth it. I don't know how much you're gonna list these for. Yeah. But Probably they're in very good $60. condition, practically brand new. Right. Okay, and then... Oh, we got so excited because... Oh, I got so excited about these. So let me just show you what they look like from this angle. Like, come on. The high-waisted, wonder under, black camo. A line. I mean, sorry, a line. Um, Again, really good condition, but look. They're cropped. Crops. So this one has been on her, like, wish list, like the camo uh, I love align. the black camo. I think they're really cute. Um, and they're size 6, too. But, unfortunately, they are the crop. But I have no problem selling the crop the lines. I sold, like, a size zero crop the lines for, like, $65. And they're size And that's six. a good uh, pattern, too. And they're, like, a newer style because they have, like, the... Like, but uh, with all their, like, Lulu, they have, and, like, priced up stuff, they have, like, these, like... Um, zip ties. Zip ties that they zip tied. But, like, yeah. But, so I paid $15 for these, but, like, they will sell pretty fast. So I was okay that. However, it's okay because Keen got me a regular green camo pair of um, Wonder Under full length um, for Christmas. Were they Wonder Unders, right? Yeah. So I was pretty happy about that. So I just don't have anything on the black camo yet, but I'm just a huge, I love the color black. Okay. Now the next thing we found, these are definitely from the same person, but um, as soon as I saw this pattern, I knew it was Lulu because I've seen this pattern in Lulu before. So it's these, um, oh no, the symbol is where? Keegan? Right there, uh, practically, these are crisp too. Practically brand new, um, size eight. I don't know the style, but these are full length. Unfortunately, I'm a size like four to six. So eight is just a little big for me. Otherwise I would be keeping these. And they have like wrinkling, but it's because like I wash them, but then like I I, I folded them over the hanger to dry because you don't you want to hang dry your Lulu. And then they got like all wrinkled. So I have to steam them, which yeah. is annoying. And these are really nice though. Yeah. And right next to those were... So then, like, kind of across um, the way. So I think I found those ones. No. 
I found the ones I'm about to show you, but my boyfriend found the other ones. But, um, yeah, this is one I immediately knew the pattern. But these, same exact pattern, size 8, brand new, still full length. Um, like, literally, they had, like, I don't see how they couldn't have came from the same person at all. I mean, just fantastic condition. Um, I don't know the style name on this. But they're literally the same, except this one has the symbol right here kind of by the waistline and the other one has a symbol you know on like the back of the cap like the front zipper pockets oh, yeah, if you like ever are like curious to see if it's lulu because sometimes like the symbols can like blend in sometimes and if there's like um zipper poles it has like lululemon branding on them usually so yeah and these ones have a mesh panel but like the comps on these i paid 15 a piece for these again but usually so they price like their full length at like 20 and like crops at like 15 and then tanks and like shirts at 15 and like shorts at 10 um but these were priced at 15 which i was like okay yeah was and they're good. very nice and i think they're a cute pattern right okay the, i actually found this one um so he can kind of light on us and screw about this okay, whatever, but, like... but this is um so it is a lululemon metal vent tech size so. medium but here's the thing it is Lululemon Seaweeds, which was um, my first time finding this brand, and Keegan still hasn't found this brand, even though he said on his it's, Instagram. It's, the brand is Lululemon. Seaweeds. That's like the, it's like a collection. Anyways, he said it was his first time finding Seaweeds okay. well, on his Instagram, and so I, you already know that I went on that Instagram and I commented, actually, I found it, because I did. I mean, obviously, I gave it to him and he paid for it, but I found it um so unfortunately with this so it has like um so anything with like the pattern around the symbol is seaweeds which is definitely they are so expensive like some of the leggings are 200 dollars for seaweeds um and on the hem it says seaweeds 2016 it's a size large oh there's seaweed okay whatever seaweeds and then the, the size large so the women's are the swiftly tech in this material and the men's are metal vent tech she learned that this weekend um yeah, I did. Yeah. I got my boyfriend for Christmas. He doesn't know yet, so hopefully he'll be posting this video after. But unfortunately, this um, one actually, did oh God, have a kind of like a little run at the front. However, it was CV, so I still got it. I believe this one was, I don't care remember the price. I know I didn't, I wouldn't have paid like a whole lot for it just because I don't like this color. Um, and because of the flaw, but I don't think it was too much. Okay. The next th that was everything that Ellery found, but the next things are okay, my mom found these, so you can just pretend to be mom. Okay. Okay. So my mom found I clearly missed these. I don't even know. No, if because she's checked the short section. So the short I what I like about this store is they have short shorts and stuff, even though the season necessarily isn't. Um, like it's not it's, even though it's not short season, which I love it because my Goodwills don't put out shorts in winter, which is annoying because you can find like stuff like that because nobody else is checking the short section because you know, but you can show. Anyway, so my mom found these um, Lululemon uh, shorts, and these are like this is crisp too. This has to be a newer style once again because no, the symbol not, is like a but... um, whatever. It looks nice and like the tag is still there size six so these were cute unfortunately these are a little too small for me but i gave them to my tatum they my fit. twin sister for tatum. christmas but these are like almost like a lyocell like tensile material um yeah it's like not like what you they're think chambray like, almost like. yeah tensile lyocell if you can see um but so they're it's my cute. first time finding this style for them but i paid ten dollars for these um they had their shorts price at ten i was like okay because shorts uh their shorts skorts aligns and jackets uh do the best for me um, but yeah, and my mom's keeping these for, I got these to her for Christmas cause she likes the style, but they, I paid $10 for these as well. They're the, um, Lululemon speed ups size eight and they're the four inch and same price. She doesn't wear the two and a half cause they're way too short for her. And these are pretty nice too. The symbol is still pretty crisp mm -hmm. on this. Um, yeah, just plain black, which is nice. Always a great, good when you find, um, neutral colors and, um, something of your size too so my mom got those for christmas even though she found them but just he didn't pay for them then i guess my mom, oh yeah my mom also found this for keegan so keegan is keeping this for his closet mm -hmm. i don't really find things in my size often it but. is a patagonia like little beach shirt i don't know if you can oh maybe it's the other side no they don't it doesn't have a logo oh. or it has like a logo like down like here but like see right there but 
but it's a Patagonia little beach shirt, so that'll be small. fun in the summer, and I think it's actually pretty cute. And it has, like, a, um, I thought I could, like, wear it to the pool. I have, like, a pair of blue lemons from shorts, um, and Patagonia, like, the baggy shorts, and it has, like, that print, and I thought, like, I could just, like, wear this, because it kind of, like, matches those, and it's, like, a, it's definitely, like, a hemp or, like, linen. What's the fabric? Oh, yeah, okay, so it's 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton, so it's, like, really, like, ni nice, like, lightweight, breezy, like, yeah, really nice. I can't wear it now because it's freezing, but, you know. Okay, and then the other thing my mom found were these pair of chubbies, um, shorts. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of these, but these I know that they sell really well for Keegan, so yes. it's and a good thing that she I've found I've been wanting them. to try this brand out, and they are a size small, but I just can't see myself, like... I don't know about these patterns. Just as giving ski resort but like, swim trunks. But they're, like, shorts, and they're, like, the puffer jacket, but it's... They're it's very interesting. odd. Like, but, is you know, it's somebody's drink. style, so yeah. somebody will definitely I mean, like somebody, these. Somebody bought them, somebody wore them, so somebody will buy them again. Yeah. Um, definitely, I wish... Yeah, these were... Here, but somebody else could pull these, these were... Off. The tech fell off, but these were five ninety nine and half off, so great. Um... I, I want to try, like, the athletic chubbies in that brand. Okay, these are the things I found. Um, so, I thought these were... I was manifesting Aviator Nation the entire trip. And I saw, like, this little rainbow. So, not everything from Aviator Nation has a rainbow on it. And I just probably wouldn't wear this stuff with, like, a rainbow. But, like, they're, like, the... They almost, like, look like they're sweatpants. And I was like, no way. I just found Aviator Nation. That is going to be for next thrift trip tomorrow. I'm confident. But... These are Spiritual Gangster, which I don't always pick up anymore, but they are size medium. And because they reminded me of Aviator Nation, I decided to get them. Um, and these were are they women's? Yeah. Yeah. $5.99. Pretty okay. cute. Mm -hmm. All right, and the next thing were these um, men's Adriana Goldschmied. These are the Everett Slim Straight, and they're like a corduroy gray uh, straight leg jeans. They have been... Okay, so um, they're size uh, 36 by 34, but they have been hemmed. However, like, um, I have, ha I've still the hem, as long as, like, the hem job is good, people don't seem to mind, and they still sell, like, it doesn't seem to affect the value of them, so I still pick them up, if it's a good hem job. Okay, and the next thing I found, I was, like, low-key, like, so surprised, I was in the pants section, and I've sold these before, because I knew what they were, so these are, like, a gray trouser pant, um, and they are Lululemon, so I was, like, okay, like, let me just check the price, because, like, these sell pretty well for me. Um, they, actually, these are one of the best-selling styles, just the Lululemon, like, work travel pants. So I wanted they, to keep them for work, but uh, Kian said no. Because no. they sell for, like, I sell a pair for, like, $68, like, 70 I'm like, no. Okay, and you get enough Lulu as it is. So, these are size 6, and I was like, okay, let me just see how much they are. Six ninety nine. I was like, um, okay. Because, like, like this store, like, they got, like, a lot. They got that inside-out Lulu. They had, like... And, like, this literally had the rib tag, and they still missed it. So, I'm not sure who was pricing, but, like, thank you to them, because they missed that. I was, like... All right, and then, literally, right next to those were these literally black ones. And I was, like, okay, these have, like, a little bit of fading to them, but I'll probably list them high still. Um, these are size 6 as well, and, again, uh, Friday night. So, I really h highly suggest, like, looking up comps if you see um, and considering to buy the Lululemon uh, work pants, because they do really well for me. Uh, the men's and women's, especially the men's, but I don't really find those that often. But, um, so in my opinion, not all Lululemon is were worth paying up for. Like, I passed on, like, a good amount, uh, due to wear, condition, like, cropped leggings from, like, 2015 were just, in 2012 were just not worth $15 to me. But, um, I mean, some of them are still nice, but mm -hmm. just not for me. But, alright, because we're already eight, 19 minutes in, so... Do you want to keep going, Ellery, or do you want to leave? Um, you can give the rest of your haul. Okay, I'll just tell you which ones that Ellery found, because I kind of remember, but... Oh, uh, yes. what which one's what I found where? Like, huh? Oh, I see. Like, you found, like, this dress, and then, like, that you're keeping, right? Yeah, you can just tell them it's not... It's just, it's okay, but... Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that was Ellery. We're very excited to go next wednesday to yeah i'm not really sure when this video is gonna come out if i'm being honest so like yeah okay ne okay the next store i went to i actually don't remember but like it was it was good um yeah so i it was nice because i didn't have to check the athletic wear like i just did not have time to look through tops i really focused on 
I don't have, like, I need to, I've been trying to start looking through more dresses. It's just, like, not, because they're, okay, my Goodwill, their dress rack is, like, literally so high, so my arms get so tired, but these dresses racks were, like, actually, like, at a normal person height, so it was, like, easy to, like, look through, and so, like, that made me, like, more willing to look through the, them, so I did find my first ever, okay, I found my first ever Diane von Furstenberg dress. I, I could, well, I find them, like, buy sell trace stores. I just don't pick them up. Uh, I don't pay up for them. Uh, never say never, because there's some that you might pay up for that, like, you know, a new tag or, like, a good, uh, rare print or something. But this is the 100% silk, and this is, like, a wrap. It's, like, one of her classic wrap dresses, so I decided to pick it up. I already photographed all of, like, um, the dresses and tops, so that's why none of them have prices on them. But I believe this was, like, seven ninety nine or something, so, um, it's, like, size 2, which is tiny, but this is black. Yeah, so I literally, okay, I literally found an Ula Johnson dress before a Diane von Furstenberg dress. Um, so how many of you have found a Diane von Furstenberg dress? And then how many of you have found an Ula Johnson dress? Yeah, I'm not really sure how that happened. I'd rather have Ula Johnson for sure, but, like, I'm not complaining about Diane von Furstenberg. All right, this one I don't like at all, but I was going to try out this brand. It's, like, a snakeskin and reptile print Ronnie Kobo. Um, the quality of this, like, is trash, but, um... I'm not really sure, so there's Ronnie Kobo and Ronnie Col Collection, I'm not sure if this is, like, lower end line, it's a size small, and, well, I guess the quality isn't trash, it's just not, like, it's an expensive brand, it's, like, a jersey knit, um, I'll show you guys the fabric on top, but it has an like, exposed back zipper, I don't know how the comps on this style will be necessarily, because it's kind of, like, updated a little bit, but I said to give it a try for, like, $7.99 or something, I'm, this might have been half off, I can't remember, honestly, but it's rayon and spandex, so, like, not the best fabric makeup, but made in Turkey, so I, we'll give it a try, I can cross the brain off my list, all right, this brand, I don't pick up all the time either, but I just, this was perfect, this was on a new rack, and it's, like, this button front, uh, printed animal, like, shirt, it has, like, little, like, birds there, like, just, like, different, like, really nice, prints and patterns throughout like super easy to photograph this photographed it beautifully and this is Bowden but it is the new label new tag and this was priced at like whatever their tops were honestly I don't remember and the dog we're babysitting dogs and they're barking so size 10 I probably this is at like 40 to 50 dollars I'm not really entirely sure because I haven't picked up Bowden in a while but um I don't really find it super super often but I find it like a decent amount all right, next to this Ronnie Kobo, I bet leave this is from the same person just because like they're the same style. I like this one a lot better. I actually like this one. It's like a watercolor almost printed um, shift style dress kind of. I mean, yeah, but it has like a square neckline almost. And this is my first time finding Jake Godfrey size two. And it's like this, um, yeah like knee length dress maybe a little bit above the knee and this had like a silk trim so um this like runs a little bit big than a size two but i was able to get it on my size six mannequin all right this uh was not priced up this store had like anthropology pants like that said buy anthropology priced at like twenty dollars so i was like oh um anyways but like okay uh definitely not paying twenty dollars for anthropology pants uh in my opinion but you know some people would but I mean, you never never say never because there might be some, like, I don't know. But, um, if they were, like, regular priced, I might have got it. But I've been passing on some of the buy anthropology stuff, like, yeah. But this is, I've sold this print before, so I knew what it was. And this is, or I found a print. This is Lululemon, but literally this is so crisp. Like, for the tank, like, the tank tags and, like, sports bras tags are, like, never there. But this is a size 10 Lululemon tank, the Power Y. So I'll probably list this at, like, 30 to $35 just because it's in excellent condition. And then right next to the Bowden, I think, like, a rich Chicago suburbs family must have donated their stuff. Because, like, this, um, the Bowden was on this rack. Say with, like, a Jill Sander tank, but it was stained, so I passed on that. Um, which I will, uh, actually just go ahead now and pop in some things that I passed on. And just do, like, kind of, like, a voiceover as to explaining why. I mean, not everything, obviously, but, like, some stuff I posted on my Instagram story. I, um, kind of showed my... On my a lot a big good amount of my finds on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, it is the Teen Reseller. I have it linked down below. So go check it out. Um, I have like a lot of fun on Instagram. But yeah, so here are my pictures. First was these Vince sneakers, and the condition was bad. And I just don't have the best luck with Vince. 
Next were these current Elliott jeans. I actually hate this brand and they never sell for me, so I passed. I never pick up this style of Madewell tag on their jeans. They're very old. These page jeans I sold for $60, but they were super puckered like most page jeans. These were flawed exclusively with Sook and AG jeans. I would have got them if they weren't flawed. These are frame jeans which were stained and I just don't have the best of luck with frame. Ragged bone jeans I just do terrible with and these were um, a color denim so pass. These Kate Spade jeans were actually really ugly and they were new with tag and marked up to 15. This Jim McLaughlin, I like this brand, but I just didn't love the style, so I left these behind. These Lily Pulitzer pants, same thing. I like this brand, just not the style. These Kelsey Dagger shoes were uh, peeling on the inside, so passed on those. I actually did pick up these Bird Dog shorts, um, and I gave them to somebody because they liked them. Another pair of Rag and Bone, just have awful luck. These were even half off, but I still passed. This Madewell like romper thing, it just was a little bit too old for me to pick up. And this Island Fisher dress was marked up to $13, so I did not want to pay for that. Okay, I found this marine layer size extra extra large like men's Henley. And this is like a really heavy weight like Henley top. Like I weighed it and it was 15.4 ounces. So just under a pound. So it can ship first class on eBay. But I'm not sure like after packaging and like everything if it's gonna weigh under a pound so i'm just gonna charge like pen flat rate price for that um yeah all right next on this rack was um this men's this is a men's barefoot dream says so extra large actually i'm not like 100 percent sure if it's men's but like the marine layer was men's and this like has like the buttons on the men's side but it's like this sherpa cardigan i wouldn't wear it necessarily but like it's not like the as soft. I think it's been like washed and worn a lot because it's not like the super soft. However, I'm just gonna note that it like has like some like matting and like wear throughout. I don't know. Just I don't wanna I wanna undersell and over deliver. Okay. Next, these were like oh actually my okay. So this is like an All Saints shirt, size large. Um and it's like this gray. But like this actually runs small, must have like shrunk, so I'm keeping it. It does have like a little like Hole down there which is like fine you can't really see it when it's worn but here's like one of their like logos so not bad um yeah so i was happy to find something my another thing on my side even though it's a size large it's a, kind of fits more of like a small medium so it's a little bit big but like it's fine oh and on that new rack too was this pair of uh adriana gold tweed men's the everett slim straight yeah uh size 40 by 34 so these have been hemmed again I, uh, maybe, like, maybe they're 32 of their brown corduroy. I found them at different stores, and they're the same size corduroy, but, or different sizes corduroy in different colors, but same style. And, yeah, these are, like, an easy $50 every time, usually, so. There's, like, their back pocket with, like, the A. See, see, it's, like, an A, and then there's, like, a G, which I like AG. So. You know, I did not pick up all AG there. Um, I did pick up a good... Or actually, I didn't pick up a good amount of it. I left most of it behind just because, like, um, they weren't styles I was looking for necessarily. Um, and I'm trying to be a little bit pickier. It still says fine for me, but I just, uh, I still enjoy picking it up. But it just, the men's, like, are almost always pick up and if it's in good condition. Women's is about 50%, maybe. I'm not really entirely sure. But these are, these were, like, on the rack, like, folded over like this, like, on, like, a pant rack. And I knew what they were because I saw this style before. These are the Athleta Tricky North Jogger in a size... 16 these are olive green and they have like a little bit of pilling so i'll just note that um i'll just say like a little wear but honestly some like this like athletic style like the outdoorsy does better for me in like smaller sizes like a four just because like i don't really know why but it just does so sometimes like this size of like the athletic stuff can sit for me but they always eventually sell and on that new rack too was like this white and warren this is my first time finding this brand in like the thrift store so i can crush it on my list it's size medium and it's like this cotton sweater so i was gonna i was photographing this and then i got it under light and um i'm not really sure how i miss this in the thrift store like there's like the stain there and like a few other ones but they like can be picked off so i think i'm confident this will come out in the wash i'm just not like entirely sure and on that new rack too was this um new Athleta Ferlin joggers, so size zero, but I've sold size zero athletic joggers before for like forty dollars, thirty five, forty. So these are um yeah, just like a jogger cream 
I don't see any spots so far, but I think there was one that might have washed out. I don't know, but I think these were... They didn't really mark up Athleta, which was nice, because I don't really... Um, it's not a brand I'm necessarily pay up for, but, like, if it has a style name under it, like, um, with their pants and leggings, I usually pick them up if they're in good condition and, like, a good price. Alright, then I went to, I think it was called Westchester, um, Goodwill, and she had never been there before, but, like, we were eating, like, near there, and I was like, okay, and I was like, Amanda, is this one good? Like, we were running out of time, we had to get her, him to the air airport. And she's like, I've never been in. And my mom was like, okay, you have 10 minutes in here. Um, if it's good, you can stay. But if it's not good, we're just going to leave and we'll pick you up. So if I stayed, I wouldn't have been able to go to the next Good Bowl because we, I don't think we would have had time. Because they closed at 7 and we like left the airport at like 4.30. Because like he has to be there before the airport and stuff. But like it just would have been like, I wouldn't have been able to go to the next one because it would have been like out of the way and just, it wouldn't have worked if she went to go and pick me up because they were in two opposite directions because like, it was almost like the Westchester Goodwill was here and the next Goodwill I went to was over here and the airport was here. So it would, I couldn't have been like gone like, yeah. Anyways, so uh, my mom found these for, so this is my 10th time getting this brand at the thrift store to resell this year and if you can sometimes the drawstrings you can tell but there are brands that like rip this drawstring off so it doesn't happen all the time but they are this uh like navy um shorts and they are viore this is my like uh third time finding the women's i usually find the men's but i love this brand for myself and it sells great for me so i was happy to find these they were like five dollars i think but i would yeah that was great um, the size tech is ripped out, but they, I think they're, like, a size large, probably. Um, okay. Okay, so, I was going through the jeans. This Goodwill was so unorganized. It was, like, I hate going through unorganized Goodwills. And I was just, like, okay. And right at the end rack of the jeans were, um, all, like, two of these were right next to each other. And it just was not a good sign. You could tell that a reseller, a person that, I mean, okay, so the brands were, like, um... Good American, which those were flawed. I left those. I found two Good American, but they're always they were so oh, usually in bad condition when I find them. But so I left those, and um, and then these uh, then there was like American Eagle mom jeans, and yeah. But then again, with these were these, I left. Okay, th I think this is the only Madewell I grabbed it's just because I left so much. There is so much Madewell there, and I hate Madewell. Honestly, it does not sell that well for me. So Madewell, and these are like the new because it has like the fair trade. And these are um, a good style. These are the perfect vintage jeans. So I don't really... This is my first time finding that. They're size 26. And they're like a light wash straight leg jean. And so these were like um, $6.99, I believe. I believe. Uh, I don't know. I washed these. So like, I don't have the price tag on them. But they had a pair of like Madewell size 32 for like $15. Um, I was like, okay. And then right next to these were these like high-waisted, distressed, straight leg jeans. So I thought these, like, remind me of a Goldie jeans, and they're not. They are Abercrombie. So I've never tried to sell Abercrombie jeans before, but they have the 90s straight ultra high rise, and this is, like, a curve love or whatever, which people say is good. These are size 28. Um, this is X six or an extra small, which X six is not an extra small, but um, in my opinion, I don't think it is, actually, so... Maybe, like, I think it's six is, like, a small to the medium, but maybe just a small. But anyways, they were, like, light, light wash, and so I was, like, okay, these are the Curve Love, and they have, like, a slight, they're nice. Um, yeah, and these were uh, six ninety nine, and I was, like, okay. So, because, like, all of those were, like, right next to each other, like, I could just tell somebody's putbacks, and that, like, a reseller had probably been through uh, the Goodwill. Now... So, there not to say there wasn't good stuff, just because a reseller, like, has gone through a s store before does not mean, um, everything, there's not gonna be anything for you, because some people might have different tastes and stuff, and I was just like, okay, but because, like, Goodwill was disorganized, and I have a hard time going through disorganized Goodwills and, like, thrift stores, and because, like, I had, that, like, semi-evidence that, uh, reseller had been through it. I decided I was going to leave. So we got those things. We went to the checkout and it was like a long night for the checkout. And I was like, oh no. So I just started going through the shorts and I was really, really, really manifesting a goalie shorts. I'm like, no, I know a goalie's here. I know a goalie's here. 
So my mom's about to leave, so I go under like, okay, one sec. I feel like my measuring thing here, I just want to show you like, like, I'm going to give you like a little like layout type thing. All right, so if you can see here, um, this is like the best drawing I could do. So there was like a little like rope bar here that separated. So these are people in line and then it goes like that way and these are their cash registers. So my mom was uh, here and so I go, um, uh, I go to like go to her. So I go here and then at this, this is like a wall, a dividing wall. So I go here and there's like these pair of jeans just sitting on the wall. So I go to look at them and then I realized they were a goldie jeans. I was like literally, I wanted to like sc scream, but we were like in line with other people. So six ninety nine size twenty six, and they are a high waisted, uh, skinny cropped jean. Um, so I think that they were at like just like near the register waiting for me. So somebody had decided not to pick them up. I don't I don't know why. I think it was the reseller from before because like I was just kind of like why would you I don't know. Because, like, this is a good style of Madewell, and, like, the Abercrombie jeans, like, I don't, definitely do not pick up all Abercrombie, but those are, like, a good style, and, like, because like, she, like, they, like, knew their brands, but I'm, like, if she put these back, what else did she have before? But, like, I don't even care, because maybe she just was, like, going, only going to get these and just decided, like, the line's too long. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I was, like, so I showed my mom, I, like, turned around, and I was, like, and she was like, uh, and I was like literally shaking. I posted a picture on Instagram and yeah. So these are like the Sophie skinny, which is not the best style, but a goalie there. And then you can look up the style there. Sometimes it'll say it, but this one just has a style name. So I looked them up and I probably list these at like $75, but I've sold like the straight leg styles for like over a hundred. Uh, so yeah. Okay. But like some people don't believe in manifestation that is fine i was okay i was skeptical of like i didn't really necessarily believe it um all that much honestly and um but okay so the night before um, when amanda was giving me all the things i was like okay tomorrow i'm going to find a goldie and she's like yep setting a goalie vibes i really focused on one brand i wanted to find and that was a goalie and then i texted my other friend aaron um uh, that's, like, one of my best friends on Instagram, and I'm, like, a goalie, a goalie, a goalie, and she's, like, yep, you will find a goalie, like, yeah, and then I texted my other friend, Marissa, and she's, like, yep, setting a goalie vibes, like, all of that, and then, literally, uh, I found them, which I just was, like, what, so, like, that, honestly, like, believe it or not, like, believe, you can believe it, or you can not believe it, like, I don't care, but, like, I think sometimes it can be real, so, I found my first pair of Goldies at the thrift. So, which I do not cross anything off my bolo list unless it's found at the thrift store. I don't cross it off if it's, like, um, at, like, a buy sell trade or, like, online or, like, in, a, like, a thread up box. I just don't think that counts for me personally. Um, I know other people count it, but I'm, like, I, I just don't think it does, in my opinion. But, like, yeah. So, I was happy to find those, and I was, like, okay, I'm ready to leave. Like, I wanted to, I, I was tempted to be, like, uh... I found the goalie, maybe she could look around, but I was just like, no, I'm good, so I'm satisfied. And after going to the next store, I'm satisfied with my decision. Um, okay, so, uh, it was, like, okay. It wasn't, like, well, actually, it was pretty good. I think this was Juliet, Illinois, maybe. Um, so Ellery found this, actually, and it is a, almost like a gauzy printed, like, tiered, uh, knee-length dress. And this is a size large, and this is by Anthropology. And she's like, do you still pick up anthropology? And that, that's like a extremely broad question because like, probably, pa I honestly probably po pass on most anthropology, but size large and that's like really nice style dress. I decided to, I would pick it up. So this was like $7 maybe, I don't know. All right, next thing was this. Um, I found this, this is a Draper James. Uh, this is not the Coles Draper James. The Coles Draper James is the RCVP. This is a size 22X, um, and this is new with tag. This retail for $135, and I think this was $10, but half off. I did photograph it already, though. Um, if I'm being honest, sometimes, like, the plus size stuff, um, in more expensive brands doesn't necessarily sell well for me. So an article, like, came out and said, like, um, that, like, 
tinier sized women tend to spend more on their clothes just like uh because like some I don't really know why I can't remember the reason but like sometimes I find that to be true and things um that I find not to say it doesn't sell but I mean at all just because I don't know sometimes like but like I have like uh I sell like brands like um I sell like a Torrid and the like, Catherine's pretty fast so like brands like that that are not as expensive for a plus size sell pretty well for me but like sometimes like the higher end brands uh tend to be a little bit more slow movers for me but um so i'm not sure how fast this will sell just because it's out of season and that like bigger size but i always want to say to add always want to add bigger sizes to my closet just because i don't find them uh super often and uh i do think that everybody needs clothes no matter if you're like a double zero or like a plus size so yeah and this i'm happy to add that um to my closet so this okay i was so mad because this is hunter and it's like a little like visor thing and this was a dollar ninety nine, and so I was like, "Oh, this is like fun." Yeah. So I didn't realize, but I lifted up the tab, and I saw I should have known. But then I saw Target after I bought it, so I'll probably take this to the buy sell trade, and I know they'll give me more than two dollars for it if they end up accepting it. But we will see. Um, okay. okay, on a new rack. So I was on my way into a new rack, and um, so there's a whole bunch of Target collabs. I was so mad. I was like. Ugh. I hate Target collabs. I don't pick them up, even if some of them sell. I, I do not pick up Target collabs. I don't pick up Target. Those are just my opinions. Like, you... So, on that rack was literally, like, Anna Sui for Target, um, Rachel Comey for Target, Rixo for Target, Alexis for Target. Like, so many good brands, but for Target. And then I saw, like, um, these pants. And I was like, okay. So, they're Tony Taylor... And I was like, okay, where's the Target symbol? They had no Target symbol. I was like, yay. So it says four. My first time finding this, and I was actually considering putting it in my, like, um, Bolo brand they found list, because I've been look looking for this brand for a while. I did not, but Tony Taylor, huge Bolo, put it on your Bolo list. And these are a high-waisted tie waist. Um, kind of like a wide leg, semi-cropped uh, pants. I'm looking at these at $125. The comps are great. And these were $7. Alright, then right next to those on that rack was this pair of... This was at the end rack. And I actually saw these first because um, I walked by. And I saw that. So they are Rag and Bone High uh, Nina Ankle Skinny. And so uh, I was... So I'm like, oh, at least they have that tag. So they're new with tag. Let me, like, let me just see. Size 28... And then I saw this tag, and I was like, oh, okay, great. And I saw, like, $195, and I was like, oh, dang. That means they saw the price. They're probably going to mark these up. $6.99. I was like, okay. Uh, how I said skinny jeans. The Nina style does great for me in Rag & Bone. Um, actually, it does not do great. I would say it does fine. It does fine. Um, as you can see from my videos, I passed on so much Rag & Bone. Honestly, Rag & Bone is not a brand I find, like, over the last couple of, like, um months i found it super often that's like almost in like every everyone in my haul videos at least like one thing but um in chicago i found it at like every store so yeah it's definitely more like there and my next haul i have another rag and bone um yeah i don't really like selling the brand but sometimes i have a hard time leaving it behind but um new with tag in the nina style i was not leaving it behind for 7.99 and white jeans sell actually fine for me I'm probably going to list these at like $99, so we'll just have to see how they do. A size 28 is good, and yeah. Alright, so, and the next thing on that rack was, my sister is keeping this. Um, it is a Free People, I got the got this, and I, but it's like this new, like, almost like a corset style uh, top. It's actually kind of cute uh, for Free People. Some of the stuff is like, not my favorite, but I thought this was okay, and yeah. So, this was... $5.99. Alright, then I found, um, I went through the shorts and I found these Madewells. Um, however, they, um, these are, I probably would have picked up these because of the uh, style and the size is actually decent. So, these are, um, Madewell. There's like a little M. And these are the... The mom jean short is size 16W. So, yeah. These were $5.99. So, that was pretty good. Then I found... Okay, my sister found... Um, 
yeah, did you guys hear that? It was really staticky, so. These are Lululemon, like, I don't know, I probably should have left the, I have a hard time leaving Lululemon that's not marked up. Um, and they have, like, gather, they're the Gather and Curl Craft leggings, which, they're, <laughs> they're a little bit outdated, a little bit, but somebody, I still sell these, um, and they're size six. I, I believe in myself, and I think if they were size two, I would have left them behind. Um, they're size six, but not the best, probably like $25. They'd be thir yeah, probably, probably somewhat like 30 Okay, next, um, were these pair of, uh, I don't, I actually don't like this brand either. I hate Madewell and Everlane. They don't sell that best for me, but I don't hate them. I just don't really love them. Um, size two, high-waisted trouser pants probably like 25 to 30 these were seven dollars that's kind of a lot i probably overpaid honestly i honestly think that this goodwill was a little bit more exp and julia was a little bit more expensive than the other ones um i'm not really sure though okay and two more things uh my mom found this one i've never found this style before and i've always been on the lookout for it just because like i feel like everybody's found it and you probably know what it is so it's like a super super high cow neck which everybody's probably like, oh, I know that right now. So if you guys guessed, um, Free People Beach, like that one, like, cocoon, like, turtleneck thing, like, yeah. So this will be easy to list, because I know Erin Parker sold this, which, um, her sister Angie, um, Real Girl Thrift, uh, I watch her videos. So, yeah, tell her I said hi or something, because I miss seeing Erin's videos, because they were so, her hauls were so good. I was like, yeah. Anyways. But this is, I know she sold this before, so sometimes if I know that somebody sold an item, like I seen a haul video or something, I'll just go into her clo their closet and, like, look what they put for, like, the description and stuff like that, just so I, like, yeah. So if anyone wanted to see that to me, that's fine, too. Um, this is one body, which I'm not really sure what, I think that might be a small. Um, I know, I think I'll just, like, look at Erin's and see if she has that listed, so. And the next thing I found, my first time finding this brand, and it is a waffle knit um kind of like a blue sky blue dress um like probably like a little bit yeah mini length and this is cotton citizen size small new with tag from intermix i've never found intermix but my first time finding cotton citizen not to be can be confused with cotton on the street retail for 165 dollars it wasn't marked down but um yeah, which the rack and bone jeans, I thought they were going to be marked down from price, but they actually weren't. So I was like, okay. Um, yeah, so I actually really like the style of this. This is one of my favorite pieces. It has like a distressed neckline. I'll probably list this out like, I'm not really sure, but um, everything, um, the dresses and tops should be listed by the time this video goes up. So if you're curious about the prices of anything um, and what I like listed them for, just check them out in my Poshmark closet or eBay store link down below. And yeah, but yeah. Um, so this is a nice piece. Um, it's called a thermal something mini dress aqua. Cool. And yeah, so I was excited to find this and I think it'll do well. This brand, I, the quality of this is actually pretty good. Um, it has like Cotton Citizen down there. And yeah, so I definitely suggest if you see this brand running comps because yeah, I was really excited to find this. So yes, that is all. I'm so excited to go back. I'm going thrifting tomorrow, not in Chicago. Uh, the Illinois capital of Springfield. I usually have really good luck there, so hopefully it stays the same. Um, I'm really excited because I've been looking forward to all break, and usually every break I'm able to go like do one of those big thrifting trips. But this, uh, I get to do two because it's Chicago, Springfield, and now I'm doing Chicago again. But I won't have as much time, so really excited. I'm really excited to see everything, every and everything I can find. Uh, let me know your favorite thing. Uh, I think my favorite thing was the goalie jeans, the Tony Taylor pants, and then the um uh cod citizen dress but let me know your favorite thing let me know a brand that you've crossed off recently and i will see you guys in the next video